What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video guys I'm going to be talking about a brand new feature that was implemented into the line version of One Piece Treasure Cruise Now if you guys out there do not know what line is it is basically the Taiwanese version of One Piece Treasure Cruise They have their own server and they don't really you know uh, abide by Bandai's kind of you know release schedule they kind of just release what they want whenever they want and they have released a new update for the game, version 8.0, and it does introduce a brand new feature being PvP player versus player. Now, I'm not 100% sure whether it's real time or if you're just versing a computer version of, uh, of another player's team, but it's actually really, really crazy. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the screenshots and a couple of video clips uh, of this brand new PvP feature. So this is the main title screen of the PvP area of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Now, before to, yet to actually get to this, uh, to get to it, it is on the story mode screen where you would usually click Extra Island, but under Extra Island, there is a brand new sort of area that you can go to, which is the PvP area. Once you click that, you'll be introduced into this area. Now, let's kind of just break down what all this stuff is. So you've got the PvP banner at the top, the purple banner. Under that, you've got four buttons. I believe one of them is like the leaderboards, one is your rewards. I don't remember what all of the actual buttons actually do but under those buttons you have just kind of like the actual leaderboard itself so you can see uh, you know from places one to five and uh, obviously you want to be trying to get in as much points as possible in order to actually reach that number one spot and uh, you know you might be thinking you know why would I even want to reach the number one spot well we're gonna go through that in a little bit but below that you have uh, different sort of characters you've got Stronghold Shanks, Gitu Luffy and also Guild Tesoro there's also Raid Boss NL there as well and what those are, are those are the specific teams that you guys can actually battle against so I would think that it, you'd be playing against a team made by another player, however it is controlled by an AI. Like I don't think it's like a real time PvP, I really don't think it's that. Uh, but still nonetheless, this is a really really cool implementation of this brand new feature. But now that I've shown you guys this screen, let's go ahead and check out the reward screen. So once you click one of the buttons up the top uh, of the actual PvP menu, you'll be introduced into the reward screen. Now I believe this reward screen is only for the worldwide rankings. Like this is, there might be like another local ranking or something like that, or specific missions that you have to beat, kind of like World Tournament in Dokkan Battle. Uh, but with this specific screen here, you can see if you place one to three, you'll be getting a gacha ticket. Now this gacha ticket from reports have said that you actually spend this gacha ticket to actually get secret rare recruit characters. So like the Christmas lore and Bonnie, like the secret Sabo and stuff like that, the wedding Perona, the wedding characters and stuff like that. So you use this for those type of characters. I don't think you actually use this gacha ticket for, you know, inside a Sugo Fest where you can potentially pull a red poster. When I initially saw this, I thought that it was going to be like a guaranteed five star pull. So you could save the ticket for when a Sugo Fest comes out, you can pull on a Sugo Fest and then you can go ahead and potentially get a red poster from a ticket. Would be That'd be absolutely crazy. But what it looks like, it is a free pull on a separate banner that will get you, uh, you know, one of the secret rare recruit characters that aren't really around for that long. They're kind of like limited edition characters, which honestly is a really cool idea. I think it would be a little bit too, you know, overpowered if a player can get this ticket and spend it in a Sugo Fest for a free pull in a Sugo Fest. That'd be kind of really, really crazy. But I think it's way more fair if they can spend this ticket to potentially get one of those secret rare recruit characters that aren't really around that often. And then uh, all the way down. Down, I think it was up to maybe the 500th place or something. Uh, there's just different varieties of gems. So obviously, the higher you place, the more gems you're going to be getting. Not too sure what the actual uh, you know amount of gems that you get per you know ranking area, uh, but I'd imagine it'd be a decent amount. Uh, I would say that it would be probably, you know, 15 gems, 10 gems maybe would be the max from 4 to 10, and it would go down to maybe like 1 or 2 or something like that, but I don't really know, you know, this is the line version, they have different varying factors, they can do whatever they want really, but now that I've shown you guys this screen, the two main important screens I thought were really, really crazy, now I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of the actual PvP. So here is some gameplay and major, major credit to the YouTube user Bird0021, who is a line player, and the link to his channel and this video will be linked down below in the description. But you just saw that his team that he's going to be running, he is versing this Guild Tesoro team, and uh, so yeah, he's going to be using a slasher team. Now, it is a 5v5, so you do not bring a friend captain, so it means that your captain is going to have to have a pretty good captain ability in order to stand up to another team, uh, because you obviously are not going to be getting two multipliers, but you 
can see here that you literally are just versing the other team. That is literally it. And you can see that, you know, your units really don't do a whole lot of damage. I mean, with this specific team, not really. But uh, he does have Golden Pound Usopp, which does end up activating, I believe, in this video. And uh, it doesn't actually do what it normally does in One Piece Treasure Cruise. Uh, normally, he, he's a delayer. But in this specific PvP aspect, Golden Pound Usopp seems to chain a unit. I don't really understand how that really works. But it also seems to be that whenever your special is active, it will go ahead and activate immediately, which is also really, really crazy. And also, one other thing is that it seems like the cooldowns of all the characters are really lowered as well. So it means that you're going to be getting uh, all of your character specials a lot more quicker because obviously PVPs are going to be a lot, uh, a lot uh, less, uh, a lot less time restrictive. Uh, compared to like a normal dungeon. Obviously, you have time to stall with a normal dungeon. When it's PvP, you're literally thrown straight into the boss fight. So you don't get any single time to actually, you know, prepare. So they lower your cooldowns of all your characters. And all of your characters don't really do much. Like, they don't really do what they're supposed to do. They do different effects, which is kind of crazy. As you saw, Mihawk did some damage. And Doflamingo actually shuffles orbs. He doesn't actually change orbs around. And he just shuffles them. I don't really know if the uh, orb effectiveness is still active. But yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. But we're going to jump into another uh, another PvP fight uh, in a second. And I'll just show you guys a, a different sort of team that is a lot stronger than the one that he just fought. So this is the second PvP fight. Now this is against a much stronger team than the previous one because obviously with the last one, uh, Guild Tesoro wasn't actually boosting the other subunits as the captain. So with this specific team, you have a whole bunch of slashes and you have the Mihawk captain. So you're going to be doing a ton of damage with this team, especially that Shihi is doing so much damage to this guy's opposing team. So this guy is definitely a much higher ranked player than the previous one. And uh, yeah, definitely you have to try and build a really, really strong team. Uh, probably Cotton Candy is going to be pretty useful. Uh, you know, if you have a lot of really powerful subunits with Cotton Candy, that is going to help out a lot. And as you can see, the HP of the actual crew itself is a lot different from what it usually is. As you can see, he's got 238,000 HP. But obviously, that's because of the fact that... Um that, uh, you know, the units actually do a lot more damage in One Piece Treasure Cruise. It, that's the thing that a lot of people were sort of skeptical about, is how uh, how units would actually, you know, change in PvP, because obviously you can't just have a unit be in PvP with their regular stats, because units do, like, over, you know, 50,000 damage, and a unit only has, like, 3,000 HP. So you definitely had to, try, like, try to mediate that, that sort of statistical value. But uh, anyways, as you can see, he is about to win now. He only just won it. It was really, really lucky here. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this is just kind of the thing that I really wanted to show you. Really, really cool new PvP uh, feature implemented into Line OPTC. Are we going to be getting it in Japan and in Global One Piece Treasure Cruise? Who knows? You know, it might be a thing later on down the track, but it does seem very, very awesome. And in my personal opinion, I think it'd be a really, really awesome thing to add because, you know, even though you don't have to spend gems to refill your uh, PvP stamina, I think it'd still be good because nonetheless, you're going to be getting rewards. And yeah, I just think it would be a really, really cool thing to implement into One Piece Treasure Cruise. But I want to hear your opinions down below in the comments if you guys like it, if you guys don't. Uh, I'd like to hear your opinions on the matter. Because I know some people uh, really, really like it. Some people don't. A lot of mixed reactions with this coming out online, One Piece Treasure Cruise. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.